Welcome back, debaters. Today, we're going to talk about how to improve at note-taking. The objectives of this video is to improve our note-taking abilities by learning key steps and skills. I know many of you probably already can take notes. This video is meant to help enhance those skills. So we will use those, sk those skills and steps with a sample reading prompt at the end to see how much we have improved. There are a couple of steps to note-taking. Note-taking is not just writing down what you hear or read. In fact, if you try to do that, you probably won't be able to listen well or take notes. There is a structure, however, to taking notes effectively. The structure goes as this. First, you're going to want to brainstorm, then outline, and finally, create your own shorthand to take better notes. First is brainstorming. You want to think about what the speaker or passage will say before they give a speech or presentation. The key is to focus on keywords or nouns and expressions. By doing this, you'll be more prepared mentally about what the speech or passage or presentation is going to be about. The example for this is the resolution, Korea should adopt a more strict policy against online bullying. You may be thinking about different things. You want to probably start with what type of strict policy? Will it be a government run policy? Will it be a nonprofit policy? Online bullying can deal with celebrity worshiping. It could deal with suicide, school bullying. It can also focus on the internet, neighbor, YouTube, social media. By having these ideas already in your mind, it will help you prepare when you're listening to the speech or when you're reading the passage to pay attention to those key words. Next is the outline. Think about how the speech or passage is structured to be more prepared for the transitions and arguments or main details. We all are familiar with your own, with our own debate format, whether it's team debate, one-on-one -on -one debate, parliamentary debate, or whatever, you're going to know when the transitions are happening. You're going to know that every speech has an introduction. Every reading passage will have main ideas and details. So if you look at the example below, we have our topic sentence or thesis statement, reason one, two, and our conclusion. By focusing on the structure and knowing when the next argument is going to come up, you can prepare yourself to take notes on the important parts of each speech. Finally, we have shorthand. You're going to want to write with abbreviations, symbols, and shortened words or expressions to make writing faster and more efficient. My shorthand, however, is going to be different than yours because it is my style versus your style. I promote that you make your own style of shorthand, one that makes you comfortable with writing and taking notes. However, here are some examples that could help you with shortening the words that you use. We have some words such as argument and definition, where we use only the first three letters. We have rebuttal, refutation, people, human rights, South Korea, which are abbreviations, R, B, R, F, P, P, L, H-R-S-K. I prefer using the slash B slash C because B slash T between B slash four before. By creating your own set of shorthand, you'll begin writing faster, listening better, and taking stronger notes. So let's practice and look at a passage and try to take notes about festivals. Remember to outline and structure what you think is going, this is going to be about. Let's brainstorm for a moment. What do we know about festivals? We know that there are holidays. We know that they happen all around the world. We know that 
They can happen at different seasons around the world and during the year. So, with that said, let's read. Fall is a season of festivals all around the world. It's the season of the harvest. Farmers cut the crops and pick the fruit. After the harvest, people want to say thank you for the good things in the world. In South Korea, there's a big festival called Chuseok in September or October. Families eat traditional food like rice cakes. Sometimes, people also dance. In the United States, the festival of Thanksgiving is in November. In Canada, it's in October. People have dinner with their family. They eat turkey and pumpkin pie. So everyone, let's look at the notes that you took and see if they're similar to mine. So I wrote fall equals harvest. So we know that the harvest and fall are the same. The harvest is also farming, which leads to thanks. In South Korea, you have chuseok, which includes rice cakes and dance. In the USA, November, and Canada, October, you have Thanksgiving dinner with turkey or pie. As you can see from my notes, I used a couple of full words, but I wanted to also illustrate kind of how to take these notes and what they would look like. Of course, again, you must practice to keep up with your own style, and that will help you with your writing, your listening, and your argumentation. So, what do you think about this video? Do you feel like you've improved at note-taking? Comment below your thoughts about how to improve at note-taking, or email me at debate dot reading pioneers at gmail dot com. I would love to hear your suggestions and advice on these debate skills. So there we have it, everyone. Thank you again for watching this video. For more information, please visit our website, readingpioneers dot com slash note taking. We have a full page of notes, more abbreviations, and skills and strategies involving debate. Also, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on all future videos. We're going to try to keep up with one video every two weeks, but if there's more demand, we'll probably do one per week if possible. Thank you again from Reading Pioneers Debates, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye bye.